Well, there's a good layer of ice on many area lakes here in the Northwoods, and a lot of people are already using that to their advantage to get out and get ice fishing. Here this morning to talk to us more about the winter sport is Kurt Justice from Kurt's Island Sports Shop in Minocqua. So good morning to you, Kurt. Morning. Thanks for being with us this morning. And first off, uh, let's talk about ice safety, right? So how much ice is out in the Monaco area right now? Well, not as much as you'd think. It's good ice, very strong ice, but around 10 to 12 inches on average. Um, enough that I can I can safely tell people it's good for snowmobile or ATV use. I know there's guys driving trucks out there, but I can't recommend that yet. I guess maybe I'm a little conservative. I like to see about a good 15 to 18 inches before I start driving my pickup. But um, ice is in really good shape. It's nice and hard and not much snow cover. So it's created some really great opportunities for anglers to get out on the lakes. Uh, and what are maybe some signs that you shouldn't be out on the ice? Maybe that it's just too thin or even um, how do you inspect like even it's just a, a section of that ice? Uh, the other signs you're looking for, especially right now, because there's not a lot of snow, is that you can watch for bare patches. But the best thing to do is just slow, go slow drill some holes or chip some holes just to find out how thick it is. Usually for walking, if you've got two to three inches of new ice, you can walk safely, and they claim five to eight inches for uh, machine vehicles. But as I say, I like to see around 10 or 12 like we have now. Definitely good to have more than you need there. And for people who want to try ice fishing, what are some of the tools that uh, you would recommend they, they have in their inventory? Well, you got to have an auger. And... Um, because there's no sense ice fishing if you can't get a hole in the ice to get your bait down in the water. An auger, a little something to clean up bait out or the uh, ice out with after you've drilled your hole. Uh, mostly we use little short rods or tip-ups and some live bait. The initial expense to getting into ice fishing can be a little bit pricey to get started, but once you're in and you've got your equipment, then all it really costs is a bucket of minnows or a tub of, uh, tub of wax worms and you're ready to go. That's pretty awesome. And so obviously uh, you need those essentials to get started. But what, what are some of maybe the higher tech gadgets that you offer at your store for those uh, people who are just really into the sport? Well, one of the things that we're most excited about this year is Strike Master came out with a very light 24 volt electric drill that only weighs 14 pounds. And this is cutting down from the old days when we used gas augers that weighed 28 to 35 pounds. Um, nice thing about it, if you just don't feel like lugging around a lot of weight. Extremely sharp. It doesn't take much to get into the turn. And a little, a little light auger like this can cut you about 60 holes in, in what the ice that we have right now, 10 to 12 inches. Some of the other things when you get to high tech is we have Garmin Panoptic Live Scope. And what that does is actually not only shoots down, but you can shoot sideways out under the ice. And you can tell if there's a school of crappies, say, 80 feet off to your west, and you can track, track suspended fish real easy. It's quite an expensive toy, but it's pretty fun to play with. Uh, another tool that we use a lot this time of year because we've had a mild winter so far, so the whole heart freezing up, are tip downs. And for tip downs, we use these a lot for crappie fishing and perch fishing. And this particular product, which was manufactured in Edgar, Wisconsin, um, I was in Edgar, I drove through Edgar one time, it was closed. <laughs> but um, just a little device that helps the angler fish for light biting panfish by what they call tip down, the rod tips down when, you, when a fish bites on it. Certainly some impressive equipment there and glad that those conditions are so good right now. And if someone wants some more information on Kurtz Island Sports Shop, where can they go? You can call us at 715-356-4797 or check out our Facebook. All righty, well, that answers all our questions for this morning, but thank you for joining us and giving us all that great information. We really appreciate it. Good thing, anytime.